division of numbers in there are two ways of two methods of doing this we can use the long division method just like we do in normal uh, page 10 numbers we can use the stepwise conversion method uh, we'll do that in another video which involves conversion from one from the given base to base 10 before doing the division yeah let's focus on long division method and this involves one you have to construct the multiplication table of the divisor in the given base secondly you divide normally and then you have to keep in mind that multiplication addition and subtraction should be done with respect to the given base let's uh, go through some examples to give you a better understanding of so let's we have a 143 in base 5 divided by 2 in base 5 so like i said the first step will involve constructing the multiplication table of the divisor 2 is the divisor don't forget uh, here we, this is dividend that's why we are dividing something with this is the divisor so 2 here we have to come we have to construct the multiplication table of the divisor which is 2 in the given base that's the base 5 so now we're going to have 2 base uh, 5 multiplied by 1 base 5 the answer is uh, 2 because uh, you have uh, 2 minus 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 and since 2 is less than 5 we can write that we move to the next one 2 in base 5 multiplied by 2 in base 5 that's 4 in base 5 so we can write that 4 is less than 5 2 in base 5 multiplied by 3 in base 5 yeah this is 6 don't forget the highest number you can see in the base 5 number system is um, it's 4 because the number starts from 0 and ends at 4 so we have 2 multiplied by 3 in base 5 that's 6 so 6 is greater than 5 we look for how many times 5 can go in 1 um, in 6 that's 1 remaining 1 1 remaining 1 so we write 1 remainder of base 5 I will just write it because if you need to understand how I'm doing this multiplication you can check my videos on multiplication of order so 2 in base 5 multiplied by 4 in base 5 will be equal to so this is 8 which will give us 13 in base 5 so we are going to stop at 4 because the highest number in the base 5 is 4 so this is the multiplication table we are going to be using in our, uh, in our division so now I said we divide we divide normally so I have um, 143 in base 5 divided by 2 in base 5. Now, 2 in 1 is impossible. How many 2 can I get from 14? You come here and look for the uh, closest number to 14, and that's 13. And that's 2 multiplied by 4. That means 2 base 5 can go in, um, in 4 places. So we have 4. So you do multiplication, addition, subtraction in respect to the given base. So 2 base 5 multiplied by 4 now. We give us 13 in base 5 and that's what we are going to write here 13 in base 5 so that's 13 we draw our subtraction 4 minus 3 is 1 so we bring down this 3 we bring it down so how many 2 base 5 can we get from 13 there again this is the closest number it is even a perfect division because 2 base 5 multiplied by 4 base 5 is 13 so we write 4 2 multiplied by 4 again is 13. Do your subtraction in base 5. 3 minus 3 is 0, 0. So our answer is 44 in base 5. Okay, next example. I'm going to do 2, 1, 1, 5 in base 7 divided by 12 in base. There again, the first step will be to construct the multiplication table for this divisor using the given base. So I'm going to have here 12 multiplied by 7 multiplied by or base 7 multiplied by 1 base 7 I'm just going to write the answers here I'm not going to give explanation so that we don't have a longer video so here's the multiplication table uh, let me just do this one again to just uh, refresh our memory 12 base 7 multiplied by 4 in base 7 what's in base 7 
4 multiplied by 2 is 8, but because 8 is greater than 7, and the highest number we can find in the base 7 system is 6. So we look for how many times 7 can go in 8. So that means 8 is greater than 7. So I have uh, 1, remaining 1. So I carry the remaining 1 and put it here. 4 multiplied by 1 is 4 plus 1, 5. And that's how I got to my 51 point, uh, 51 in base 7. So now, let's go move to the next step by doing the division. So, we have 2115 base 7 divided by 12 base 7. How many times can 12 go in 2 is impossible. So, to bring the two together, 12 in 21, let's look for the closest number. That's actually 1. Because 24 here is greater than 12. So, we have 1. 12 base 7 multiplied by 1 base 7 is 12. Don't forget, you do your addition, subtraction, and uh, multiplication in the given base. So let's take it away now. 1 minus 2 is impossible. We'll borrow 1 from here. The 1 we are borrowing here is 7. So 7 plus 1 makes it 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 is less than 7, so we can write that. Just like we have in normal division, we'll bring this other one, next one, down. So I have 61. The 7. How many times can 12 go in 61? The closest number here is uh, 51 because 63 is greater than 61. And that's 12 multiplied by 4. So we have 4. 12 multiplied by 4 is 51. So we do our subtraction again. Uh, 12 multiplied by 4 is uh, 51. So we do our subtraction again. 1 minus 1 is uh, 0. 6 minus 5 is 1. So then again, we bring this next number down, just like we have in our normal division process. And it comes down here to 5. So how many twelve can we get to 105 now? Oh, perfect division. So here it is. 12 by 7 multiplied by 6 by 7 gives us 105 and 7 exactly. So it will go in 6 times. 12 multiplied by 7 by 6 in base 7 is 105. You take it away, 0, 0, 0, which means our answer is 146 in base 7. You can try this on your own. Um, 225 base 6 divided by 4 base 6. Then uh, the second one will be 1423 base 8 divided by 14 base 8. Drop your answers in the comment section. I'll tell you if you are right or wrong. I believe this video has helped you. Share with your friends. Like my Facebook page. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And watch out for more videos.